Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday morning to you, Heartbeat Carolyn. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray that you all received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on and ready to take on this day. Hey there, Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald. Heartbeat Nicole, Heartbeat Eva. Hey, Heartbeat Yolanda, Heartbeat Bernice. Thank you so much, Heartbeat Nicole. Good morning, hey there, Heartbeat Troy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Drea, Drea, good morning. Hope you guys uh, had a great weekend as well and enjoyed the beautiful weather. Hey, listen, let's get started. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the Heart Gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is, <clears throat> excuse me, help me forgive me. Help me forgive me. So we already know what forgiveness is, right? Forgiveness is an intentional act and a decision to let go of all resentment, all anger, all retribution that you have toward the offender. It's moving forward from that situation. Now, how many times, how many of us know that, you know, we've gotten to a point where we can um, move past or we can forgive the offender, but sometimes we're stuck in forgiving ourselves. And so we want to talk about forgiving ourselves. Learning to how to forgive yourself is important. It's imperative for your mental health. It's imperative for your physical health. It's imperative for for your overall well-being and your future. You've got to forgive you. And so sometimes in life, we have a hard time forgiving ourselves for, you know, certain things like um, the bad decisions that we may have made. Some of us have had a hard time forgiving ourselves because, quote unquote, we think that we may have done some bad parenting. You know, we blame ourselves for the decisions that we've made, you know, with our children. Some of us I have had a hard time forgiving ourselves for staying in a toxic relationship too long or, you know, not protecting um, children because of a relationship. You were so into a relationship with another ma with a male or female, um, and I'm saying that for men or women, that you forgot about your child. You were so, you know, and you have not forgiven yourself for doing that. Some of us um, have not forgiven ourselves for... Uh, selfish acts that harm someone else's emotional state. May, you may have not been truthful about something and they found out. And so now that trust is broken and you have not forgiven yourselves. Some of us have been holding on to things and not forgiving ourselves for like something in a child parent relationship. When I'm talking about dating, you got too involved in your child's situation and you know, you made some decisions. You said some things to their friends that you should not have said and it caused a rift between you and your child. You may have, like I said, lied about something. You may have cheated on a spouse. And then the list goes on and on. But on today, we want to start opening up our hearts to be able to receive a word from God to, re to forgive yourself. And so, um, Within the next couple of days, I'll be talking about ways on how to forgive yourself because we want to stop this random torment that we're doing to ourselves and we want to be able to move forward. When you choose, and I'm saying choose because it's a conscious decision to forgive yourself, um, well, I'm sorry, when you choose not to forgive yourself, you sign up for... Um, a life full of despair. You f sign up for a life of stress. You sign up for a life of fake happiness. And I call it fake happiness because you're always pretending. You're pretending that everything is all right. And actually you're living um, a life sentence of bondage. It's called, I call it self-incarnate, self-incarceration. I'm sorry. When we choose to forget, so we have to make a decision to choose to forgive yourself. Forgiveness is an act of self-love. It doesn't mean that what you did was right. But it means now that you forgive yourself, you're setting yourself free. I'm going to say that again because I got a little tongue tied there. Uh, when you choose to forgive yourself and you should choose to forgive yourself, forgiveness is an act of self-love. It doesn't mean what you did was right, but it means that you've gotten to a place where you can move past it. You can allow God to help you and it will set you free. Amen. So ways on forgiving ourselves. The first one is this. You are not what you did. So you've got to learn 
learn how to disconnect from the identity and understand that you are not perfect. Disconnect from that identity. What are you talking about, Pastor G? You have become that thing, whatever it is that you, you did. So this is a thing that happened in your past, but it's not who you are. I'm going to say it again. This is a thing that happened in your past, but it's not who you are. So, um... You have rehearsed this thing in your life so much that it has caused you to not forgive yourself that um, you're, you've gone over it and over it in your brain so much that that's all you're focusing on. You're stuck right there. And the thing is not... You gotta, you're focusing on trying not to do it again, trying not to be hard on yourself. And what's happening in actuality is because you're focusing on it so much, because you have made it the center of your brain, that's where you stay in. And that's why you aren't able to move past, you know, what you did. So it happened. So you've got to say this, it happened. I've learned my lesson, but now I've got to move forward, which takes us right on back to third John two, where he says, beloved above all things, I wish that thou may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers, meaning your emotions. And so you've got to allow the word of God to come into your life. You've got to allow the word of God to take root. That's why it's important that you continue to read the word, that you continue to meditate on the word day and night, that you may make your own um, your own life prosperous and have good success. And so because you've been concentrating on this thing so long, you can't get out of the past and the past won't let you enjoy the present. And it sure isn't going to let you get to the future and so you've got to understand yes it happened yes I did it it wasn't right but it's not who I am I made a mistake I did something that I should not have done but it does not mean that's who I am it's not my identification tag that's not who I am you know Philippians 3 12 14 and I'm going to read it in the Passion Translation, it says this, it says, I admit that I have yet acquired the absolute fullness that I'm pursuing, but I run with passion into abundance so that I may reach the purpose which Christ Jesus laid hold of to make me his own. And so I've got to, as I like to say, I've got to switch my brain. I cannot continue to concentrate on that situation, but I got to concentrate on the God who loves me, on the God that you know, has um, decided to call me his own on the God that has made me in his image on the God that has says he can cleanse me from all unrighteousness. It says that I may reach the purpose for which Christ Jesus laid hold of me to make me his own, that I may be able to walk into what he has for me, be in the will of God for my life. Because when I stay in a place of not forgiving myself, I'm not in a, the will of God for my life because I've settled in self-condemnation and we know that that is not from God that that is from the enemy scripture goes on to say I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this and that is where we've got to get to that we can only do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us that we can't do this thing alone this is why he says cast your cares upon me because I care for you take my yoke for it's easy and my burdens are light because you are you and I are are not equipped to carry burdens that is not what we were created for we were created to praise Jesus we were created to be in his image we were created to take this um, good news and spread it all over the land spread it all over the world that's not our portion so it says I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this however I do have one compelling focus one compelling focus and that focus is not on my mistake that focus is not on that past thing that I did. It says, I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. Remember, we don't stay focused on the past. We don't keep looking backwards. When you look backwards when driving, you crash. When you look backwards when driving, it's a distraction. You're not looking ahead of you. Remember, God says, I've already gone before you. I already knew that you were going to do that, but I've got a way of escape that you can escape your own thoughts. You can escape your own fears. You can escape 
escape your own mind. You can escape you if you just get out of you, get up into the supernatural because you are a supernatural being and get where I'm trying to get you. That if you allow me to, I can heal that. I can heal your brokenness. I can heal your past and I can really show you who you are and give you a new identity because that identity that you have attached yourself to, that is not you. I've made you new. I'm giving you a new life. I'm giving you a new beginning. It says this, I run straight forward the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus Christ. Now, I like the way the Passion Translation says this. It says, I run straight for the divine invitation. You know, an invitation, when you get it, you've got an RSVP. If you don't, you don't get to go to whatever the event is. If you don't respond back, if you don't send it, they don't know you're coming. And so it says, I run run straight for the divine invitation of reaching this goal of gaining vi the victory prize that I can only gain through the anointing of Jesus Christ. So no one else and nothing else can help me accomplish this goal but Jesus. I can't do it on my own. No one else can do it for me. But if I turn it over to God, if I release it in the hands of Jesus Christ, the one who sent this divine invitation, I want you to get that on this morning. Morning. It's a divine invitation. So you have been sent a divine invitation on this Monday morning, this last Monday in the March of in the month of March, to accept that God wants to pull you out of that unforgiveness where you have settled in your heart against yourself. He wants you to forgive you, understand that that is not your identity, but you were made in His image, and that you have a right to be able to start over because he makes all things new and you've got to accept that now that you can do this that if you stop trying to do it in your own strength and run towards the high calling of God run towards what he's called you to do and leave the past right there in the past look in the present and move forward so that you can get to your future you will be able to experience deliverance you will be able to experience the healing power of Jesus Jesus, that only he can give. All you have to do is receive the word of God, apply the word of God to your life. You know, anytime that you can see the word, hear the word and understand the word, you heartbeat nation can be transformed into the word. And so on this day, make a conscious decision. As I stated, just like you made a conscious decision to settle there in unforgiveness towards yourself. Now make a conscious decision that I'm no longer going to be incarcerated in my own thoughts in my own mind but I'm being freed on this morning I'm coming out of that cell I'm coming out of that place where I was and I'm allowing the word of God allowing Philippians to 3 12 through 14 reading it from the passion translation allowing the word of God to heal my brokenness set me free that I may begin to forgive myself hey listen that's the daily dosage for today we're going to pick it up tomorrow and give I'm going to give you another point on how you can begin to heal and forgive yourself. That's the daily dotion. Help me forgive me. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole. And I am. Go out there and have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS, the wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch and make it a great day. Make it spec while amazing as you get to experience God in this last week of March. Still mega miracles to happen in the last week of March for you. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Again, Spec Wild Amazing Day to you.